the Valley's Best Variety, 99.5 Drum FM. Welcome to another edition of Drumbeat. I'm Brennan Toft, and we have a very special guest from Central Alberta. She is 16 years old and a very talented recording artist by the name of Danny Lynn. She plays a little country, a little pop. She's all over the place, but it's very good work. Welcome to Drumbeat. Thanks for stopping in. What? Uh, how are you connected to, I guess, Southern or Central Alberta and the Valley itself, I guess? Well, I was born here in the Valley, and for the first five years of my life, we lived um, right outside in a farming community called Orkney. And then uh, when I was five, we moved into Three Hills, and now we're in Olds. So you're moving all over the place. Yeah. And <laughs> so what does the, I guess, this area of Drumheller mean to you, or the Valley, mean to you personally? Does it come off as in any songs in your writing at all, or...? Well, I was quite young when we moved away, so I don't have too many memories of it, but my grandparents do live here, so we come here a lot, so. Um, I don't know about my songs. Maybe the country part of my songs comes from living on a farm, but. Right on. Um, so how long have you been performing and singing? Because you're 16 years old. Yeah, um, I've been singing, well, my mom says since I could talk, and I've been performing since Probably about 2008 or so. Okay. And y- you want to describe your sound, I guess? You said it's a little country. I got I listened to some samples on the internet. It's very good work, by the way. But uh, do you want to describe it yourself and what you figure? Well, I don't want to be one of those genres that can be classified, I guess. I, um, I'm probably about 80% pop and 20% country. Just a bit of country because I like the warmth of it and the songwriting part of it just the the storytelling of it yeah that's a big big factor and I was watching a documentary yesterday and um, he's do you know who the band Motorhead is I guess if you have any clue who that is yeah. anyways the lead singer from that band he's a huge legendary rock star and he says he plays like heavy metal but he says um, the harmonies and choruses in country music are the most tal- talented pieces of music ever and the most talented artists are country singers female country singers. That's what he said. So there's a little props for you. But who are your influences? Um, Taylor Swift is definitely a big one. I love her music, but I don't want to sound like her, even though a lot of people say I do sound like her. I want to sound like Danny Lynn. Right on. <laughs> so she was a, a huge influence in my songwriting and, and getting going. So, um, so you said uh, Twisted was one of your earlier songs that you wrote. Yeah, it's actually the first song that I wrote on my own. Well, okay. the first one that we recorded, anyway. Do you want to go into detail about what's it about? and? Um, well, it's kind of a story from the outside, kind of a perspective of how high school is for me and um, the things that people face and, and how love is kind of twisted in high school and, and you can't believe everything you see. All right, well, let's get into it. This track is called Twisted by Danny Lynn. <laughs> He's cute and she's got his name on her hand with a heart around it. She sees him walking down the hall and her heart sings, but he doesn't even see that she's in love with him.
Best Variety 99.5 Drum FM. Danny Lynn with Twisted. She's our guest on Drumbeat this week. And that was a very, very good song. She's only 16 years old. you got to remember that. So she's very talented for being that young. And there's only much more to go for this one. Remember, if you're digging what we're playing on this episode of Drumbeat, text in 403-820-4311. And if, if you think we should be playing it more often, let me know. And you'll be walking away with a Joey's gift card. So, Danny Lynn, you write all your own stuff? Yes. That's that's pretty neat. Um, what are your goals for the future? Where do you want to see yourself in five years from now? Well, I'm hoping next year I'll be on tour. That would be the ultimate goal. But um, I'm hoping to get out and get a little more known and hopefully be successful in the music industry. No doubt. Well, you got a good head on your shoulders, it seems like. Um, how do you uh, get in touch? How do people get in touch with your music? There's the internet. Is your stuff on iTunes? And um, it's not on iTunes yet. After we record my next album, I think we'll put it on there. But it is on YouTube, and I do have a website, dani-lynn.com. Okay. And so, well, now that you mentioned your new album, you're, I heard through the grapevine here that you're going down to Nashville to record. Yeah, we actually have had an exciting week so far. Um, we found out yesterday that I'm going down for sure. Um, we're going down on the 25th of August, and I'm going to be recording an album with Lisa Brokop and Paul Jefferson, the Jeffersons. I've heard pretty of, excited I've about heard of that. Lisa Brokop, and that's pretty, pretty big news. How did you get in touch with all these people? We actually sent her a message on Facebook um, with my music attached, and she sent back saying she was interested and asked me to come down. And, and record some stuff with her. So. No way, that's pretty exciting. Have yeah. you have you been a big fan of her growing up? Yeah, <laughs> my mom said that um, her like my music really reminds me of hers because she's got like a really unique style and and her songwriting is kind of what I'm aiming for. Well, that's that's pretty exciting. Um, have you how many songs is this album gonna have on it? 
Um, it's going to have 10 songs. 10 songs, and are they already written? Um, yeah. Well, I might write a few more before then. You never know, but... There's, there's, a, there's a song in its own right now, this, <laughs> this big uh, journey down to Nashville. Um, and upcoming shows, what do you got coming up here? Um, well, tomorrow until Saturday, I'm going to be at the Westerner Days in Red Deer. And then I'm going to be at the Edmonton Expo on the 29th. And then Taste of Calgary and the Wellness Festival in Calgary in s September, August, sorry. <laughs> and then... Um, I'm also going to be at Eastside Mario's in Red Deer in September, too. Right on. Well, now that we've gotten to know you, um, let's get to know your music some more. This next track is Every Day of the Week. Valley's Best Variety 99.5 Drum FM, meant to be by our guest here on Drumbeat this week, Danny Lynn. Remember, if you like what you're hearing, 
which I certainly do. You can text in. Let me know if it should be played on Drum FM more often. If you let me know your opinion, maybe you'll be walking away with some Joey's gift certificates. So text 8204311 and let me know what you think. That'd be awesome. Let's get back to talking with Danny Lynn. Um, how, how often do you perform, I guess? Um, I usually get about four or five a month. Sometimes a little more. No doubt, hey. And being your age, how do you how do you focus on I don't know juggling your social life with your work? Because this is your work, right? How do you juggle your social life, school, and all that with I don't know your passion, music? Well, I try to keep it all a little separated when I'm at school. I try to focus on just school, and then usually I can go and hang out with my friends and stuff until around five, and then I go home and work on my music. Right on. And do you play guitar? Yes, I do. I've been playing for about a year now. And what else? Do you, do you, is it just guitar? Or? Um, well, I play clarinet and concert band. But Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Well, maybe put that in your music. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, that would, that would fit. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, thanks for stopping in this afternoon. I appreciate your time, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. I've heard your stuff, and uh, very talented, Thank like you. I said again. And uh, I wish you all the best, and good luck on the new album. And We'll obviously be playing it here on Drum FM. All right, awesome. Thank you. No worries. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Drum Beat. Our special guest was Danny Lynn. She's only 16 years old, so you better watch out for her. You can visit her website for all her tunes, www.dannyd-a-n-i-slash lynn.com check out all her stuff it's wicked we're going to leave you with one more song but before we get to it I want to let you know that you can give us your feedback at 403-820-4311 text what you think if we should be playing Danny Lynn more often and you could be walking away with a Joey's gift certificate and if you're looking to get involved with Drumbeat all you have to do is log on to drumhelleronline.com click on the Drumbeat page and send us an email of where you're from, what type of music you play, and maybe you could be on this week's episode of Drumbeat. Let's get back to the music. We're going to leave you with one last song by Danny Lynn. It goes by the name of Dreams. Crank it up. One girl wants a blue-eyed boy who's self-employed and mows her daddy's lawn. Another girl wants to be 18 and walk onto a movie screen and sing her songs. It's a ride on a Ferris wheel that never stops turning. It's a fire in your heart that always keeps burning. Dreams, dreams, red balloons in the clear blue sky. They fly so high. Dreams, dreams, the light inside shining the little piece of silver lining wrapped around our dreams one girl married and settled down in this town she's got kids of her own in between school and work she hugs and holds them for all it's worth Grown. She'll know in her mother's heart it's time to let them go. She'll tell them to follow that yellow brick road. Dreams, dreams, red balloons in the clear blue sky. They fly so high. Dreams, dreams, the light inside that keeps on shining. The little piece of silver lining. But if you're not afraid to take a leap of faith, you can 